Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install vMenu into your guys' 5M server very, very quickly and in 2023. So all you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. That means you guys right here to the vMenu GitHub page. Go down to the releases and make sure you guys install the latest vMenu version available to you. Head right down to the bottom where the assets are and download the top one right here, the vMenu zip folder. Open the zip folder on and up. And as you guys can see, we have our basic files and folders that we need to put into our 5M server. So to do that, all you guys are going to want to do is find your 5M server in your file explorer or on your desktop like mine and find your guys' resource folder. So for mine, if you guys also have a TX admin server, all you guys are going to do is go into TX data, CFX default and resources. And all you guys are going to want to do is we're going to do a little bit of organization for our servers. We're going to right click new and folder and we're going to call this folder brackets menus and then brackets that basically allows to create a subfolder for our 5m server so we can put every single menu plugin into this subfolder so we know where everything is and keep it nice and organized for future development so all you guys are going to do is if you guys do have any other menus like me easy admin right here we're going to drag and drop it into our subfolder for menus and go inside of our subfolder right click create a new folder again this time we're going to call it vmenu this is going to be where we put all of our files right here inside of. So grab them all, control A, and drag and drop them into your vMenu folder. And once you guys have done that, all you guys are going to do, open up the vMenu, go into the config, and here is your permissions.cfg. If you guys go in here, you guys can see you can pretty much configure everything just by allowing them by true or false. So you can disable vehicles, you can disable guns, you can disable different settings in the menu just by allowing or disallowing by putting allow or false and obviously you guys can also add little hashtags if you guys want to just not have a complete line of code it's pretty self-explanatory hashtags mean that it won't read the line of code and then allow and false means it will allow it and it won't allow it once you guys have configured this as to your liking all you guys are going to do is we're going to copy this permissions.cfg folder and we're going to go find the file where our server.cfg lies. So it's back in our CFX default folder. As you can see, I already have one right here. So I'm just going to delete that real quick. And all you guys are going to want to do is control V in right here. And this is where our V menu permissions.cfg will always live. So we're going to go back to our resources, go back to our V menu folder, and we're going to delete the one from our built in config file. Delete that one here because we have our one in our CFX default folder. All you guys are going to want to do then is like usual for pretty much any resource, we're going to have to ensure our V menu. So enter, ensure, and then V menu, making sure you guys spell it the exact same way as we did with our V menu folder. And then you guys can see here, I do have exec permissions.cfg. So it basically allows your 5M server to read the permissions.cfg folder. So make sure you guys have that at the top of your server.cfg or just under here. It has to be above the actual ensure list. Make sure you guys put it above here. I'll leave it down in the description below if you guys want to copy and paste it or just type it out. That's a very, very important step. Otherwise, your permissions will not work. And obviously, make sure you guys do also have yourself as an admin in your admin command tab right here. If you guys don't, I do have a video on that as well. So I'll leave that in an info card in the top right hand corner. Or you guys can just find it on my channel. It's probably one of the most recent videos. Once you guys have done that, you can close out, hit save, and now we can load up our 5M server. And once you guys have loaded into your guys' 5M server, all you guys are gonna want to do is hit F1 or M. It kind of changes around sometimes. Try one of them, one of them will work, and you should be able to see now your V menu has opened up. And you guys should be able to see as long as you guys have online players and you go onto yourself, if you can ban, kick, and kill, that means your admin permissions are working successfully. If they're not working successfully, then make sure you guys have actually added yourself as an admin, like I said, on your server.cfg. I do have a video on that. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. And obviously, here is your vehicle-related options where you can spawn stuff. Make sure you guys go through this and understand everything so you guys know what you can and can't disable for your server if you're making it public. Definitely recommend going over everything to make sure no one can abuse any permissions. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for this video. 
if you guys did enjoy it and did find it useful be sure to like comment and subscribe and check out the channel sponsors that posting down in the description below and use code highway trooper no capitals or spaces for 20 percent off your next product with them so if you guys are looking at hosting a 5m server it's a great way to do it especially using a vps they're probably the best way to do it that's how i host mine so check them out down in the description below and i'll see all of you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye